here guys, I think PC guy here, starting up a series that I have promised that I will do for a while, which is how to design your own PC desk and how to make a model of it so that it will help you with your planning and you can visualize things better and make sure you don't miss any important details of what you want your PC desk to look like in terms of uh, where the fans go, where the components go, how does it have to be built uh, and when you are actually building it, how big must, must each panel be and how do they come together and uh, what angles do they need to be and all that sort of thing and the 3D model obviously helps a lot with that. Now I have done a video in the past where I showed that and, but that did not really show you how to do it, did not give you a great detail and uh, as time went by I would like to think that my ability to present you guys information how to do stuff has improved so I hope I can do a better job than I did with that video way back then when I first uh, started making videos. Now uh, I will be using the same program I used back then, SketchUp, it's a free uh, 3D design program uh, as you can see it, you can get it at sketchup.com. It does have paid pro studio programs and whatnot, but we'll be using SketchUp free because, well, it's enough for your needs, for my needs at least, and it will be more than enough to build a model for your future 3D desk or, uh, you know, whatever else you might want to do it if you're into PC modding. So go ahead, click on, kick, uh, kick, yes, kick. Click on uh, 3D uh, SketchUp for free. And uh, let us just look for the download. Uh, there is no download link, uh, but I'm guessing this is where you get it. Uh, obviously, it will ask you to sign up, which I will click. If I remember correctly, you can uh, sign in with your Google account, for example, which I will. I will just use my personal account. Hopefully, I do not get a whole ton of spam with it. And uh, this gives you basically the online app for it. You can use it without without actually downloading a program. Now let's start with uh, setting the things that you need, for example, that are important, which is here at the side, for example, you can check for what kind of units you want, inches, centimeters, meters, millimeters, depending on the scale of your project, as well as how, much, how precise you want those things to be. You can also adjust things like how do the endpoints look like, you know, the ends of each line and how the distance is measured and shown and all those sorts of things. So there is a lot of things you can check, for example, how to show if you want to see the axes and the guides showing um, showing basically hidden objects, section cuts of things, just so things that help you draw and help you, um, you know, see things better. Here on the side, um, some you can see some basic tools. This here is the a tool that lets you move the things around. This lets you rotate around in space uh, to see things from another angle. The ruler tool help you measure things and distances and uh, it will show there exactly how you know each distance is. Here at the bottom we have uh, undo redo. This tool I will show you it lets you kind of uh, push and pull a surface to make it taller or smaller, that kind of thing. I think uh, a tool to draw shapes, uh, to draw like uh, planes and lines and such. This is a free, basically a free line tool or a free hand tool, color uh, coordination stuff, uh, eraser and select. So let's start by trying to do a very, very basic, very simple uh, desk frame so you guys can see how the program works and uh, the basics of it so you can apply to your own stuff. Now for starters I will do what is supposed to be let's call it the side panel of our future PC desk build. Now you, like you saw, I used the rectangle tool here and now I will be using the push-pull tool to actually lift it up from the ground. You could basically draw more rectangles individually until you make the, the area, but um, that would just cost you more time. This is a lot faster and a lot simpler. You can adjust the thickness, you can adjust the height, you can adjust a lot of things with this push pull tool. And if you look at the right corner there, it is actually going to show. Well, I actually just deleted it. Let us, let's actually go back to the rectangle, and the, it can actually will show you how tall you are making it. So, right now, let's make it, I don't know, a meter high, a meter 60. It doesn't have to be precise. This is just an example for you guys. And it shows you by how much you have to adjust it. If you look at the 
bottom right of the screen. So let's call this the first panel. Now, this is something that will be useful in the future, which is how to, as you can see, you can select each surface and each line individually. This makes it very difficult for if you wanted to copy the entire material uh, to, for example, copy it and make a second side panel on this side. Uh, what I will do is you select it all, then you right click it and you make, you group it. Now it is a group. A group is not saved, it's just that object that is there. If you want to copy paste it, you just have to Ctrl C, Ctrl V. But there is another way to save it for future use, as well as in other projects in the future. If you make a component, you can actually save it as a component. So you can name it, make a description for it, make it uh, stick to a surface in this orientation, if there's a surface next where you put it, to make it easier to position and to you know, put it in a place that you want it. So let's just call it component one. And there you go, component one there on the list. If I click it, I just get a component just like the one that I copied that I can use for the other side. I'm not going to use it for a reason which I will show you now uh, afterwards. Um, and I will also show you, you can explode it. And explode it just means that um, I forgot what exploding means. And actually, that is not what I wanted you to see. You can edit group if you want to change individual lines and things in the group again. So uh, that is also an option that you have to edit the things that you want. Explode, basically. Oh, yeah, I know what explode does. It just ungroups it, basically. It's not grouped again, as you can see. I can select things individually. But I will delete it and I will show you how to build the rest of the things. And this might be a bit unpopular approach, but I, it worked best for me. You could make another rectangle here. Uh, I actually will, just to show you how to do it. Uh, no, you still go away. This is not what I wanted. I wanted to rotate it. Now, the rectangle tool, you can select it. And as you can see here in the tool tip, you have to select the first corner of the rectangle. And then the second corner. Uh, actually, I'm doing it wrong. Like I said, rectangle tool. First corner here on top. Second corner here on bottom. And then you pull in the direction that you want to make the rectangle, as you can see. So in this case, I want to make it go to the back here. And you, I will show you exactly why because we are going to do like this for the back of our desk. Now, now that the back of our desk is done, I would recommend grouping it, to be honest. Group, like, you know, drag all of this, click away the group you already made, and uh, make group so you're not... So this is so you have an easier time selecting and deselecting things in this future. When you have a component or a part or a panel or whatever drawn, I strongly recommend always making it grouped to make moving it around and editing it more easy when there's tons of parts involved. Now, why will I not just copy paste this panel here to this side? Because if I do, I will actually do that. I have it here. And uh, one drawback of this is that it is extremely difficult, or at least I find extremely difficult to position it completely flush, as you can see, it has a height difference there. Uh, and I know you're going to say, oh, yeah, but, you know, just ignore it. But when you're actually measuring things to, you know, later on cut things to size to make your desk, you want to have the exact measurements. So what you can do is you grab the ruler and uh, you come here and you check. And uh, apparently it has a width of 6.6 .6 centimeters. So what you are going to want to do is to make, with the line tool, you make a length here of 6.6 6 centimeters. And now you have a point here, as you can see. Now if you draw this point all the way to the bottom, making it sure it stays, you know, on the blue axis, which is the Z or the height axis, then you have drawn here, as you can see, a little rectangle. And this rectangle behaves just like all the other rectangles. Uh, 
that we have seen in that we can actually I cannot because I must explode it which is basically ungroup it as we see and now as you can see we can make a surface here uh, I don't remember the exact size that I made the other panel but uh, you get what I'm going for you just make this it's probably not going to be the exact same size it does not really matter uh, let's just go with this whatever um, this does have the downside that the object will be connected as one here how do you fix this you just make a little line here to here and uh, the same thing at the bottom and then you connect the two and okay your your objects are now completely separate so it's not the well yeah i obviously is not the the easiest way, it's the easiest way to make sure that they are completely joined there. Unless I am missing, because I'm not a pro user of this, I might be missing something that lets it sit flush uh, at an easier uh, way. Anyway, uh, like I said, I am also not a very experienced user of this. I'm just showing you guys how to use it and uh, what things do. Now, these are the basic commands that you can do. Now, uh, obviously, you would be wanting to have like a, a surface of your desk, your desk surface, basically. Let's do it like this. I know this is a very, very strange desk. Uh, obviously, this panel should be a lot shorter, maybe a bit taller. Um, and actually, uh, this should not go here at all. Like, let's call it like this. So let's say that uh, Oh my god, this is horrible. Yeah, you have to uh, really play with the... Make sure you are visualizing the angles correctly. You know, let's call it uh, like this. And then... Uh, like this. And now you have your desk. And um, you can uh, make this hidden. Hide. And now you can actually see the interior. Uh, of that uh, thing and you can design your compo anyway this is a very basic how to work with sketchup now i hope it has been clear i know it has was not the most uh, smooth explanations ever and i know i've screwed up on the design a little bit but i think i've been successful in showing you guys the basics of how to work with these tools now you can go here on your account and you can save it you can uh, uh, go here actually no no do not click new model uh, you can uh, go to I believe no not 3d warehouse well actually it's there under save so you can save it you can uh, make a folder you can uh, pick a folder for it you can give it a name as you can see I'll put it guide 01 and uh, you can save it and you can later on load it as well from uh, if you click here, you can uh, basically save, export, insert, download, print, you name it, you have a lot of options. In any case, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, I will try to do a smoother, um, more in-depth video for actually designing your desk as well as discussing things like materials, uh, tactics for... Um, how to maximize and improve the space, that sort of thing. I These videos, I warn you, will be somewhat long because there will be a lot of explanation and things to say and do. And as you can see, it can be tricky to design things the way you want them sometimes. So it, there will be lengthy videos. However, the aim is to make them actually useful and actually give people food for thought when they are planning to design and do their desk so that the planning is as detailed as possible and that they run into as little, um, let's say, unforeseen uh, problems and complications as possible when they're actually doing the build. Now, this has been Attic PC Guy. I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe if you think that this series is going to be useful for someone. And uh, I will see you guys next time.